Welcome back. So once we have our campaigns live, we'll want to know how they're performing. In this chapter, we're going to look at a campaign performance board to help us track specific metrics about each campaign. Our marketing overview dashboard, which is another part of reporting, will give us a more high-level overview of how we're doing in accordance with our goals. So let's review our campaign performance board, which is here. Firstly, how do we get all of these metrics into the board? Just as automations reduce manual work within Monday.com, integrations streamline your team's ability to work with multiple tools. They allow you to bring data from outside platforms automatically into Monday.com. In this board, we are pulling data about your Facebook ads performance directly into Monday.com using our native integration with Facebook ads, which you can see here. All of our integrations are available on the standard plan and up. I use a status column to show whether a campaign is active in green or paused in blue. It's several numbers columns to show the costs, impressions, clicks, and click-through rate. I also link to the campaign planning board over here in case I want to get more specific details about the particular campaign without having to move boards. Awesome. Finally, let's look at another building block of the Monday.com platform, which I haven't talked about yet. These are the dashboards, which is where you can aggregate data from multiple boards into one place. I'm gonna close this out too so that you get a better sense of what the dashboard looks like. Here I use various widgets, that's each of these blocks, to pull in different types of data and make sense of what's happening across my boards. So let's have a look at the suggested widgets and set up what we've added to our dashboard. So we, for example, we have numbers widgets to show our spend and budget, we have a goals widget to show how close we are to our goal on ROI or return on investment. I have a chart widget to show our spend per channel so I can see we're spending the most on Google Ads, less on Facebook, less on YouTube, less still on Instagram. And I can go ahead and change this from a bar chart uh, to a line graph to a pie chart. And I could, I could do any of these depending on what I wanna show. I can also go ahead and change what's on the x-axis um, to show whatever data I want. So maybe I want a line graph to show spend for Google ads over time. So then I'd put a date column on the x-axis, I'd keep budget spent on the y-axis, uh, and I would change to a line graph. At the bottom of the dashboard, we also have, I guess I'll go through these quickly first. Sorry, mistake. Below the chart widget, we also have a Gantt widget, which is exactly like the Gantt view we looked at earlier, uh, but it just combines data from across all of the boards. We have a resource management widget or a workload to make sure that nobody's overburdened, a llama farm widget to show where our, we're at. It takes status data uh, to pull in the status of each campaign. Um, and then we have an embedded data studio, so we could take data studio uh, data and put it in, into this widget. We could embed Facebook and Twitter feeds, and then uh, you can add anything else you want. I could use a bookmarks widget, for example, uh, to keep track of resources that my team always use, uses. Of course, every widget here, kind of like I just showed you with the chart widget, uh, can be edited to display the, wid the data that you want. You can add more widgets by clicking here um, and choosing which ones you want. Again, I highly recommend going through the widget center and seeing what would be helpful. Um, or you can remove things that you don't need. So for this text wid widget at the top, for example, I could just delete it if I don't want it. But it kind of breaks things up nicely now. So this dashboard is a great single source of truth and an amazing way to motivate your team to stay on track and make progress on campaigns. In the next chapter, we'll look at some bonus features to take your Monday marketer to the next level.